Hello, Taurus. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K, and this is the week of May 11th of 2020. What are they thinking reading? So, Taurus, this is about a person that uh, you are connected with, thinking about, or maybe even someone, if you're single, that you have not yet met. I feel like people are being drawn together at this time. Relationships are going to start to mean a lot more, is what I'm hearing, as we are coming into a deep experience of self-awareness. So I'm going to be starting out with the Spirit Animal Oracle Deck by Colette Baron reed and I'm going to lay a circle spread. So dear Lord, spirit guides and angels, please bless whichever Taurus I'm reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the week of May 11th of 2020. Circle spread. Okay, so it is indeed time to co-create for this person, Taurus. They are connecting with spirit, whether it's through prayer, actions, goals, and intentions. Taurus, the person you're thinking of is trying to manifest greater stability and success, and they're connecting with spirit. They're wishing, praying for, that spirit will help them to go through a very spiritual transformation. This is such a beautiful card. So in the thoughts position, this person, Taurus, has the butterfly spirit. They're going through a transformation. They're trying to figure out through prayers how they can um, evolve from what they've been working on or towards. Now, in the relationship sector of the circle spread, they have clear out the clutter with the frog spirit. So the person you're thinking of, Taurus, is trying to get rid of their own cocoon, right? The person you're thinking of, whether it's your grandparent, your aunt, your great grandpa, or grandma, it, you know, people are transforming throughout their lives. They're learning and they're evolving. So the person you're thinking of may not have been giving you a lot of attention because they are trying so hard to learn from their own experiences and to rise above them. And it is happening. And they're realizing that about themselves, Taurus that they are transforming um, and they're no longer the butter uh, the caterpillar crawling on the ground or stuck in a moment of pause but they are recognizing that either you are being reborn and are spreading your wings and flying or they're really hoping that success for you Taurus they want to in the relationship sector clear out any negativity especially during the week of April I'm sorry May 11th of 2020 this could even be on Mother's Day. There's some form of communication. And this person, Taurus, has been praying to communicate with you. They've been working on their own circumstances. And in their day-to-day -day aspects position, they have the grasshopper spirit. They are hoping that creatively during this week that they can take a leap of faith because they have uh, let go of some worries, maybe regarding you, Taurus. So in the actions position during this week, uh, this person you're thinking of has the dove spirit. So they're just trying to create peace. They're trying to move forward. They're recognizing that what was unhealthy in connection maybe to you or within themselves. And now they're taking a leap of faith or are hoping to create that with you, Taurus, so that they can find peace in their day-to-day -day life. Because their heart is hurting, is what I just heard. So in the emotional aspects position, uh, by the weekend, around the 16th or 17th of May of 2020, this person's feeling absolutely beautiful. The Nightingale spirit is about love all around them. And in the emotional aspects position, they are recognizing that this Taurus has co-created with spirit as well some form of transformation or they're really hoping that for you that you'll clear out the clutter that you guys can clear out the clutter between you and that you will take a leap of faith to find peace they want to give love and peace and to guide you uh, in some way Taurus so in the subconscious position we have the elephant spirit so they are hoping that you will learn from your past clear out the clutter, 
trust in the future and allow this transformation to help you to take a leap of faith. This person wants to help, help, help. And they need to probably back off a little bit, but they're doing it because they're hurting. So Taurus, in their day-to-day -day aspects position, they are trying to heal. They're hoping there'll be communication that spirit will help for the clutter to go away and that you and they can take a leap of faith and to heal and learn from the past. So in the inner strengths position, this person is being blessed with the turtle spirit energy to slowly and steadily win the race, meaning they don't need to rush. They need to be at peace. They need to understand uh, love is all around them, especially if they're worried about you, they're feeling lost, they don't know what to do. Uh, over here to my left in a three card spread for clarification, Taurus. Uh, things are gonna be speeding up during this week of May 11th of 2020. And Spirit saying that they've got a plan. Let Spirit be your guide. So this person is hoping that you'll co-create a future with Spirit and that you will lay a very solid foundation for yourself moving forward. They want you to do like they are doing, Taurus, and to devote yourself to being loyal to what you love to do. A hobby, gift, talent, skill, creative, financial, direction, because sometimes love stings, but it's about coming out of illusions, fantasies, perspectives, and getting back in touch with your truth, going beyond the surface, going through a transformation. This person is waiting for you to believe in yourself. There is always enough. This person will always be there is what I'm feeling, Taurus. I feel like this could be a family member. Life is a mystery. Trust in the magic. So they are really being guided to find peace. That magic is at work in Taurus's life at this time during this week. Yeah, embrace the in-between and surrender now. And I'm seeing these cards a lot. So this is for people I feel that are wanting to jump forward and have a conversation or you know, they're waiting on something to happen and it's not because of the circumstances. So really, um, they're being guided to embrace the in-between, to create success, to surrender and let what will be will be as they find peace day to day. They're going to have the strength to allow things to unfold in a slow and patient manner. So they're tending to the small things, you know, they're cleaning up, taking care of things, whatever they're working on, Taurus, during this week. And they're trying to let their light shine. They're hoping that your light will shine. This person is uh, very fearless and bold in their ways, especially in the area of creativity is what I'm hearing with the number four. They want you to recognize your worth in the same way that they recognized theirs. To find playfulness and happy and joy and to understand that you are never alone that you just need to reclaim the power over your own experience and trust that the abundant universe will provide as you step into a new direction or make plans for a new direction during this week of May 11th of 2020. So let's bring in people, places, circumstances, shall we? So I'm going to bring in the Gypsy Oracle deck that does just that. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please continue to bless this Taurus, whichever Taurus I'm reading for during this general reading, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Okay, so, yeah, uh, they feel like you are feeling imprisoned, stuck, trapped, and they're really praying for Spirit to guide you to be freed from what got you stuck or trapped. And in your thoughts, I'm sorry, in their thoughts during this week, uh, they are opening their heart as a best friend, as a close family member, because they want to tell you how they transformed and found peace. They want to help to take you out of this self-imprisonment. And in the relationship sector, they want to clear out the clutter, any 
negativity so that they can travel towards you or you could travel towards them this week, even if it's virtually, metaphorically. So creatively, Taurus, this person is hoping that you or they can take this leap of faith and get beyond something that came to an end. This friendship, this partnership, this these old ways of being within both of you in the actions position by the weekend of the May 16th or 17th of 2020, we have this person trying to find peace because they are recognizing falseness. Interesting. Oh, I'm getting so many messages. So emotionally, we've got love is all around you. Love is all around this person. They want to give all their love to you. Emotionally, they're thinking about money and love and helping you and lifting you out as things start to come to an end. As someone travels towards another, she's hoping or he's hoping to provide or find peace within themselves. For I think they are fearing that someone here is going to take an action in the area of falseness because they've been stuck. Uh, love is all around. They want to give you their love, but there's a worry here regarding money in some way between one or both of you. And subconsciously, Spirit's saying it's time for this person to learn from the past to recognize with the merchant energy, how they packed up and moved from feeling imprisoned, how they journeyed forward into a new beginning and took a leap of faith. You know, maybe it was difficult at first for this person. They want to tell you a story during this week, Taurus. So in the day-to-day -day aspects position, we've got the snake spirit time to heal. They're hoping you're healing in the process. They are healing at the same time. For some of you, they are this womanly, young woman energy, meaning someone who is a mother figure, someone who is a caring, loving, giving energy, someone who's hoping that their heart will be healed as you reach out to them. There's confusion about who should reach out to who. So in the inner strengths position, this person's being guided to slowly and steadily put one foot in front of the other because they're thinking so much about you. And Spirit's giving them the strength to free their mind because it's slowing them down and it's making them question a lot of things. And it's going to be different for each person. I'm sure you know what this is. If this is your reading, so in a three-card summary to my left. Wow. Look at the butterfly again. So it'd be a great time. Maybe you guys reach out to a mother figure or yeah, somebody is surprised by the fact that you guys came towards them with friendly energies. These flowers are jumping out, offering flowers, kind words or messages. And there's this spiritual transformation from the surprise that you maybe came out of imprisonment or they are freed as they've been praying for this communication to take place. They're really hoping that you'll let your light shine in the midst of despair, frustration, feeling imprisoned in some way. Uh, they are recognizing what they brought upon themselves. And yes, see, they want to have a conversation regarding their childhood or the past in hopes that there can be so that you can reunite. Yeah, she wants to or he wants to give and give and give to another, but they are fearing the enemy energies of flies and deceit. Uh, they are dealing with situations, I shouldn't say dealing with, they're trying to figure out new locations, commitments, partnerships, as they're trying to find for us uh, plans for the summer and family and friends, how they're going to work that out. So basically, they're waiting this week for your faithfulness, for your commitment, for you to open up your heart. And by the weekend of the 16th or 17th of 2020, we have cheerfulness, researching. Is this true? Is there falseness? Can I co-create and help in some way? So 
hope they're very hopeful look at this week especially by the weekend that there will be some form of communication here it is letter that brings misfortune someone who's not being honest but someone who's recognizing that dishonesty that falseness that we saw here and it's it's bringing on somebody has stubborn energy stubborn energy is only going to cause sorrow so should uh, things not go the way you want for some of you when it comes to this conversation, remember, it is time for you to create a new beginning, Taurus, for the abundant universe will provide if you move forward in a hopeful and positive way and learn from the past and build on money, stability, a foundation, commitment. Partnership, love in the area of family and friends. Okay, wow. So for clarification, I'm going to bring in the Gilded Tarot deck. Please clarify signs, synchronicities, elements, and etc. for those Tauruses that I'm reading for during this general reading. Yeah, so we have someone being a little bit difficult here, maybe a younger child or someone's child or... Yeah, they want you to pray. They want the two of you to come together. They want both of you to go through a transformation in this connection during this week. They want to clear away the clutter in hopes that you will travel towards them or they towards you and enjoy the Ten of Cups, a happily ever after. They want to take a leap of faith for they fear that this connection has ended. They want to help to guide you with the Three of Pentacles to build a solid foundation in the area of money and home and stability. So they're waiting in the actions position. They may not be taking much action for they are fearing falseness and spirits trying to bring them peace in their heart. So love is all around this person. They're thinking about money. They're thinking about maybe moving to a new home, creating a new business idea, celebrating something in the area of money, partnership, family, and friends. During this week and subconsciously they're starting to see the benefits of their efforts Taurus they're learning from the past and they're contemplating how to move forward and when in their life because they have this conflict with you that they want to clear up and hopefully you guys if I think if you call someone that you've been waiting on Taurus I think it's gonna be a beautiful connection keep it positive you know don't let the negativity of what's going on in the world, see, because this person needs to heal. They're hoping that you'll come towards them. Here you are, Taurus, with communication that will help for them to heal. This is a mother figure. This is a partner. This is someone who's been there and done that and, and devoted and committed and is now taking a leap of faith in their life while still trying to connect with you. So in the inner strengths position, they're thinking a lot and spirits telling them to just slow down. They're thinking a lot because something uh, with the tower energy is transpiring outside of them. And now they're trying to figure out, should I step into one path or the other, this direction or the other, this home or business or the other. And they're just really hoping that as they make positive action steps forward, that you'll understand that via spirit for sure, praying to spirit for abundance, that the abundance, the abundant universe will provide for you. Look at this. So in a three card summary to my left, we have the justice system and a celebration. Something is ending and now you can be freed with the eight of swords energies for this is all about self entrapment the Eight of Swords is a figment of our imagination. At some point, uh, they are hoping that you're going to be free. And I think you guys will be freed from whatever this prison energy is, maybe in the next, by the end of the week. And then you see this Ten of Pentacles, a light at the end of the tunnel. Peace, joy, contentment, happiness, money, stability. Racing towards a new adventure and bringing an end to old ways, right? laying down what didn't work and instead they're hoping that you'll put your effort in and take a leap of faith in the area of stability so that you can enjoy a happily ever after so that they can enjoy that in connection with you 
person is wishing you so much the very best. They care about you very much. And so with the Nine of Swords, uh, it could be by the end of the week, they're feeling a little bit stuck or trapped, you know, hoping that there will be communication again. But yeah, because wishes are coming true for the person you're thinking of, Taurus. They may be seeing you dealing with someone who has Aquarius in their chart, being represented by the major arcana, the star. Seeing you with the seven of pentacles energy, setting goals and meeting goals and contemplating new directions for yourself. Taking time to think things through, contemplating reconnection with others so that you can bring a path full circle and move into the direction of a new offer. So you may be receiving kind words, messages, offers, and support from others, but there's some form of heartache here. Yeah, maybe having to do with an older air sign, like I said, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. This person, there's a karmic connection, so it's got to be a family member or a friend. And the person you're thinking about, Taurus, I feel like they are getting ready to start a new journey in their life of peace, joy, and happiness, of great financial independence, or they're hoping that for you. Yeah, so here you are. Some of you Tauruses, you may have put a lot of effort into a journey of money that didn't turn out for you, and now you've got one sword left. Are you going to continue to do the old way? Are you going to cut away from that and come up with exciting new goals and intentions in the area of creativity, career, finance, and things of the material? For if you focus on the betterment of your journey and who you're going to be now in the year of 2020, you're going to start to shine like the sun, and things are going to start to happen rather quickly. And that may be that, that someone's watching you and they see that you're making a new decision, that you are moving into the direction of a situation involving money or an offer that brings you a reason to celebrate. And that's when you'll recognize love is all around you. That's when you're going to recognize that this person is really trying to support you, even if you try to bring a situation to a close. Communication seems very important here. All right, so I'm just going to go backward. Shocking realization regarding money and a new direction for this person. Indecisive about communication with you. Uh, hoping to celebrate something in the area of family. Communication. Putting time and effort in to choose a new direction in the area of home, business, family. Those things may come up during this week. So we have someone overthinking. This young woman energy, I want to provide for my family, my children. I'm working subconsciously on my profits. And in my thoughts, I'm hoping that we can come together and reform this commitment, this partnership, this friendship, this family connection. For emotionally, this person is thinking about their money, hoping that you will journey towards them or they'll eventually be able to come towards you so that you can bring something to an end that didn't work for you any longer or them and step into the path of something better. So Spirit's saying be careful of the falseness energies in your actions position for um, that will bring, you know, negative goals, ideas, and intentions will turn the wheel of fortune in reverse and someone here is going to go back through the infinity symbol and repeat old patterns, behaviors, and cycles again. Not learning from them so that they can step into the bounty of a greater existence in this universe. All right, so yes, yeah, slowly and steadily, this person is waiting. They're trying to heal. They're learning from the past. They are transforming, and they've been praying that love will um, come in and provide them with positive emotions in connection with you. So they're trying to clear out the clutter, negativity, and take a leap of faith so that they can find peace in a new direction or in connection with you, Taurus. So I'm going to close by bringing in a message for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Arising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter. This is the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck, again, by Colette baron reed The closing message for Taurus is the Altar Priestess. Male or female, number 39. Number three is about the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, trying to guide you through an ending with the number nine so that three plus nine, 10, 11, 12. Spirit can guide you into a higher, better path of peace, joy, and happiness. So it is a week of preparation. 
of prayer, like we talked about, and of sacral ritual, where day to day you get up, you work out, you apply for a job, you work on a hobby, gift, talent, or skill, sing, dance, write, paint, go for a walk, uh, waiting for spirit to guide you into a new beginning. For right behind that, you have the Sun Dancers Energy Taurus, joyful activity and the celebration of life and abundance. So you can rise above old temptations and get excited about the new journey, new connections, circumstances and situations that Spirit's been trying to guide you towards all along. So thank you so much for stopping by. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated. Uh, if these uh, messages have resonated and you have further uh, questions or would like your own personal reading, I offer a one month, three month, six month, and yearly reading. My price list will be in the box below this video and I'm still offering the Easter special, which is a 15 minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give it a try. Again, thank you so much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running. Take care and God bless.